Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marv. Today we're gonna go over a couple of packs and clothing items I picked up. Um, we have EPTM, On the Bias, Modern Amusement. You know, a couple of things I want to go over about each brand, show you the make, quality, feel, how they fit, all those types of things. So stick around, and I'll get right into it. Nigga, hold up! Before we start, I just want to point out some things, okay? So first things first, I listed a couple of links for y'all's convenience based on the items you guys would want to see. So for example, if you just want to see the button-ups or the pullover or just shirts, you can do that by simply just clicking on the links that are provided on the screen. All right, and secondly, I don't want to see no comments about my bottom lip. It's heavy, so I couldn't keep it up the whole time. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and just be nice. All right, so starting out with the EPTM tee that I got from Tilly's, it is an olive green medium color. Um, the type of extended tee, as you can see, it is a curved hem at the bottom, so that's how it is. I normally rock with this gold chain that I just abuse with every single piece because I don't have any other gold chain, so that's pretty much how I do it. Um, the fit, it's really nice. As you can see, it fits really like loose and like, oh, not really oversized, not really too much of a floaty tee, but it's like just nice fitted on the shoulders, it's comfortable and everything. So if you're looking at the bottom right here, you saw, I'm showing you how high it raises up if you raise your hands or anything like that. It does have a really nice, nice droop fit in the back of it. So it's not overly drooped, but it's drooped. It looks good. Ambition feeds our dreams. Money motivated. The paper's what I'm chasing. I ain't the type to get pushed. Keep running around, you'll get pushed. Roll the wheel with some yellow papers. I'm getting nauseous, nigga, fast and lame. Okay, so this EPTMT will be compared to the previous one. Um, it's a heavy gray color that is made with this really weird, itchy cotton. Also, just like the sleeves on it, they sort of flare out and it looks weird to me. But um, this one was actually bought offline on Amazon, and I would never ever buy it again. It's mildly uncomfortable because of its itchiness, but it does fit snug and it does have a good length to it. But sad to say, I normally would just wear it in the gym. So, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Said your name was Victoria, girl, what's your secret? I see the big beater with the Versace sneakers Your sweater balloon, cost a grip the feature Alright, so coming to my favorite brand, we have the Paxson on the Bias Extendo equipped with the same scalloped curved hem fit. And this, I can say, is one of my favorite shirts at the moment. It's dope with the stripes, fits comfortably, it's real soft, just overall looks clean, my G. So if you run into one, it's a definite cop. And of course, I will abuse the hell out of it with the gold piece, and just, just to make things pop with the steam. Niggas need to know that I'm the one with the switches Pulling bitches like a Mike Lowry with a bitch Nigga, we ballin', this ain't a fuckin' scrimmage This ain't a fuckin' scrimmage Yeah Big trippin' off TAC Motherfuckers need to know not to fuck with the team Red religion burning bridges like we fired a tree Woo! I think I got it Okay, so coming to another favorite extendo of my wardrobe of Broke Boy, we have an all-over tribal print tee comprised of an array of colors. I mean, we have a nice oranges, tan, salmon, deep gray collaboration that's just popping off and nice, and it fits hella comfortable. Once again, real light and soft, not too loose in the chest, fits snug, and just looks great. As you can see at the bottom, it's not a curved hem, but a side split. With an, elong with an elongated back that just looks amazing. Okay, so now we have finally arrived at one of my favorite pieces. Right here, we have a nice off-white button-up that's probably made of some type of god cotton because it's just mad soft, man. Most button-ups I wear normally have this linen feel to it, and it feels tight in some areas, like under the arms and stuff like that. But this one just feels like a t-shirt that has been transformed into a button-up. As you can see at the bottom, it's like a mix between a scalloped curve hem and a side split. Um, it's mad comfortable. I do end up sitting on the back every now and again, but it's an extendo, so you can't really expect anything less. But overall, it's a completely nice shirt. It's one of my faves. Okay, so this buy right here wasn't exactly thought out. I mean, I saw the quality, design, and colors and said, oh, that would look amazing. And then I get home, look in the mirror, and forgot my muscles ain't where they used to be. I mean, I still think the shirt looks great, but I haven't really the slightest idea on how to wear or style it at all. Um, yeah, the quality is great. It's like a denim right here. I'm putting on my arm because I'm showing you how long the loop is or like the the sleeve is, and it's not you know too long. Sorry to show you my arm like that. But yeah, the quality is like a denim feel almost, but not like quite like a denim. It's like a double layer cotton shirt or comparable to the Urban Outfitters double layer side split extended tees. 
As you can see the, the, at the bottom, the length on it is great. It's not like a Jaden Smith or like a modern bank robber length, but it's decently long. It looks pretty good. Can they give more love for the town rock? Uh huh. Yeah, when they call up the Tana, yo, call up the Tana. Don't get light skin on me, I might make your life with a few water in that shit. Okay, and lastly, we have finally come to my favorite jacket, the Modern Amusement Anorak jacket. Tech jacket, yes, it's a big name for a sexy jacket. This jacket is nice. I didn't really show it off much, but it does have two front pockets. One more close to the chest area and another huge one on the abdominal area. I don't use them much just because I want the jacket to keep its slim look, but they are there if you desire. Also, another thing that is sort of huge for me is how tight the armpits are. I don't know if I would say it's hella uncomfortable when wearing the jacket, but if you plan on taking the jacket off one sleeve at a time, you're definitely going to get stuck. Okay, next if we take a look at the cuffs, you can see that they have a nice snug fit that isn't skin scraping uncomfortable, but it's just right. And if you want to show off your go catch to watch like a boy, you can easily do so, you know? So they're, they're pretty good cuffs. I like them a lot. Okay, also if we take a, one more look at the inferior side, yes, that's the AP one for you. Shout out to all my health science people. Um, anyway, if you can see that it has a drawstring, so if you want that more fitted look, you can go ahead and get it. And of course, like most extendants, we have a nice curved hem fit. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, that's all for this haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Beat up that thumbs button if you liked. Um, comment if you have any. And deuce, deuce. Go stupid to the tire. Go stupid to the tire. Go stupid to the tire.